file let's talk about what is the major transformation in ssis major transformation is the one which helps us to merge two sorted data sets in ssis so in ssis you can extract the data from any sources it can be rdbms or it can be plat file excel file or xml file anything so but before applying a merge transformation you need to explicitly sort the data which you are giving input to the merge transformation merge transformation takes only two inputs but those two inputs need to be sorted and like a based on those two inputs so you need to uh, specify a key which is based on the sorted one so based on that key so it is going to be send the output to the destinations so in this example let me show you how to implement practically a merge transformation in sql server data tools so let me go to the sql server data tools so in that so here i have two sources one is a plat file source the other one is a yladb source so just to show you a different uh, sources i have taken this example so let me show you the structure of the plat file if you go to the plat file structure which are of having five columns and six rows id employee employee name salary joining date and department number let me click on close and okay now again click on yladb so here is similarly employee table which are of having uh, five columns five rows with are of same schema you can close so here i have taken id employee as a var care in the plat file source as well as in validb source also i have taken id employee as a var care so let me click on sort here so i have selected id employee on the top of the sort so here by default is ascending so in the similarly if you go to this sort i have selected id employee to sort it and sort type is also ascending click on okay let me go to the match so in the match so i have taken match input and the match of match input is a plat file one the match input is a plat file two so i am telling the sort key is a id employee so again i am repeating so id employee is a var care column in both the inputs so here and the output this is the output which is getting generated from the match transformation so i don't want to go with this column name let me go with id employee only by default it takes id employee of sort key colon 1 so i don't want that as output key column so let me change it to id employee and the remaining columns are as it is you can change if you want the column names click on okay and one point is so the output of the match is also a sorted one okay but again i am repeating i am keeping the id employee as a var care in both the inputs so the plat file destination i configured so with or of a similar kind of structure let me click on okay let me run this so merge transformation is say, taking the two inputs which are of sorted ones and it is sending the sorted output to the plat file destination if you see six rows and five rows it, it is clubbed and it is giving 11 rows to the plat file let me show you the output here if you go to the output let me refresh it merge output so if you see this is how the data is been sorted i told you id employee is a var care that is the reason why 1 10 11 is coming and then it is started 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so if it is integer it should come 1 2 3 4 5 like this it should not come 10 and 11 because of the id employee is a var care column so i am getting 10 and 11 in the between 1 and 2 because of sorted on the var care column this is what and this is how we implement a merge transformation in the real examples so in ssis we have a similar kind of transformation named as union all in the next example i'll tell you how to implement a union all and what is the difference between merge and union all that's it so thank you for watching please subscribe and like our videos